welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Melanie and I'm here to unbox the March 2024 Beauty Heroes box. I normally um, don't allow myself to see any spoilers. I like move the email that announces what brand and everything out of my inbox and I do all these measures like don't go on Instagram, don't do this so I don't know the brand and I accidentally ruined it for myself because I, I am filming this on March 1st. Um, and I accidentally saw the email that said True Botanicals, and I saw that it was three full-size products. The good news is I have no idea what the products are, so I know the brand, but I don't know the products. Um, my initial like, gut reaction was like, ugh, True Botanicals, because I think I've gotten two boxes of them so far in the last few years. I meant to review before I started doing this video, but here we are. Um, I meant to go look in my products to see what the last True Botanicals ones. I know there was like a, there's a serum that we got and it came with the vitamin C booster. And then I remember, oh, I think I know. Um, then there was the vitamin A capsules. Um, and I finished all those. It was like a glass jar of 60 biodegradable vitamin A capsules. I finished all those. And then I think the other product was that sleep mask from them that's like super liquidy that I really don't like. Well, that I don't like, I should say. Um, I think I would have really liked it if it was a different consistency, but it's like super runny. Um, so I haven't been like super impressed with them. I did like the capsules. Um, and I really can't say like with the serum, like the serum and the booster, I haven't used them that much, only the month we got them. So anyways, let's see, this is me rambling. Um, let's see what's in this box. Let's see what kind of products they are. I'm excited. Um, I'm having a little beer. Friday night. Life is good. The kids are asleep. It's only 8.30, so that's exciting. Not that I stay up much later than 10 at all. All right, so let's see here. Oh, yeah, so it says, as we know, True Botanicals. Um, and they show, like, some of the products here. And I recognize these. Those are the vitamin A capsules that I have already finished. And then let's not ruin it by looking at that. Okay. So we have the box. Again, this is always like one of my favorite things is opening it and seeing the new products and like what I'm gonna be using this month. So even though I ruined it for myself, not a big deal. I also am not really like familiar with um, the, you know, the products that True Botanical does. So this should all be a surprise, I think. All right, in no particular order, let's just check these out. Oh, okay, We this is cool. We have the Ginger Turmeric Cleansing Balm. I do remember hearing about this or reading about it or something. And I love cleansers. Certainly have a lot of cleansers, but I really enjoy them. Ginger Turmeric. I'm really curious as to what it smells like. So I am excited about this product. You know, with one of those little wooden spoon thingies, which I'm starting to have quite the collection of. <laughs> this is what it looks like. So let's check it out. Well, let's, let's, um, look at them while I read about them. Okay, so we have that. And then the other one, the second product I should say, is the At Home Facialist Peel, Mask Peeling. I hope it's not harsh. <laughs> I still am working on the Little Fox Acid Glow. I, I know one of these days I'm gonna go to pump it and it's gonna be empty and I'm gonna be like, I'm nearly done. Cause then I'm gonna turn it upside down and like use the rest of it just because I'm a freak and I can't not finish it. Um, but I hope that this is like, when I hear peel, I think like burning. Um, so hopefully it's not like that. And lastly, we have the Phyto Retinol Sleep Serum. So we have a serum, a cleanser, a serum, and a mask. That's pretty cool. So these sound like a nice, um, you know, variety of products, which is exciting. I'll be curious to see what the hero is and if anything is like a new launch and what kind of serum it is. So. Okay, <clears throat> yay, so we have our three full-size products. Let's read about them. All right, we got the little insert. So, oh, I hear, this is how it starts. Highly active yet gentle enough. Okay, that's good, for the most sensitive skin. Three-step, this three-step ritual begins with the Ginger Turmeric Cleansing Balm, a best-selling multitasking cleanser that removes the day without removing moisture. Newly reformulated Phytol Retinol Sleep Serum delivers the power of Peptilum. Peptilum, a novel biopeptide that ups the ante on traditional retinol. 
working two times faster and better without sensitizing side effects, and a twice a week at home facialist peel that brings professional grade performance to your private evening routine. Oh, my cat's scratching the playpen. Please don't. Thank you. Get back. Okay. Sorry. Um, okay. Celebrity and dermatologist endorsed, yet accessible to all. True Botanical shows us a better path to beautiful skin. All right. Let's start off with the ginger turmeric cleansing balm. I don't know yet what the hero is. Okay. So here's the cleansing balm. This is 3.4 ounces. It's big. Let's hope I like it. $48. There's no need to double cleanse when you have this four-in-one wonder at your fingertips. Four-in-one is a lot. Ginger turmeric cleansing balm purifies, exfoliates, protects, and strengthens skin with biocompatible ingredients that work gently yet effectively without compromise to the skin barrier. My cat is really into scratching right now. The balm builds into a milky lather thanks to yucca extract, a natural saponin, that helps remove all dirt and impurities while infusing skin with hydration. Lactic and azelic acids begin to gently exfoliate on contact, loosening and sloughing away dead surface skin while guarding against moisture loss. Ginger and turmeric work synergistically to simulate skin while feeding it with antioxidants that calm, soothe, and provide protection. These warming roots also lend to the, vibrant, the balm's vibrant yellow color and energizing aroma. Soothing butters and oils ensure skin remains soft and the barrier stays strong, resulting in a pillow soft skin for all skin types. The superpower ingredients are turmeric, ginger root, yucca extract, cucumber seed oil, lactic acid, and azelaic acid. Let's check it out. Let's get one of those. Hmm. Um. But it's very solid. I didn't expect it to be that way for some reason. Um, and it's a bomb, so I probably should have, but uh, cool. So that's like, this is the consistency we're getting here when we push on it. So here's some of it. It's definitely not like a strong smell. I just got my nails done today. Excited. It always feels so good when I get my nails done. I keep up with it now, like every month for like maybe the last six, nine months or so like that. And it feels really good. <laughs> my nails. This feels nice too. It kind of reminds me of like, like when I make like a, like a curry type recipe or something. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> so that's what the bomb is like. So cool. Um, yeah, it'll be interesting to work on this and try it out and everything. I have to think about what kind of like, um, type of cleanser is my favorite, you know? Um, you know, there's oil cleansers, then we have bombs and, um, you know, my mind is drawing a blank at the moment, but, um, and then there's like, I know there's like lotion type cleansers that I really don't like the consistency of. Like, yeah, they're like that kind of lotion-y, but I do like gel cleansers too. So uh, what's my favorite? I don't know. I have to think about that. I, I do use a lot of um, oil cleansers lately, but yeah, it'll be fun to use this balm. I've been using, um, I'm trying to work on the Arcana balm that we got in a um, Beauty Heroes box a while ago. And I never really liked that product. It reminds me sort of of like Vaseline. Um, and you know, maybe that's just, maybe I'll find that that's sort of how I feel about bombs, like cleansing bombs in general. I guess we'll find out with this, how I like it. I would say one of the least familiar type of cleansers I, I'm, one of the cleansers I'm least familiar with are cleansing bombs, even though I have used a few and I have a few. Um, so well, this will be fun to try. Okay, Phyto Retinol Sleep Serum, 30 milliliters for $90. This is pricey. Um, it's best not to mess with success unless you discover an ingredient that outperforms all others in its class, such as the case with Phyto Retinol Sleep Serum, an evening mask turned treatment serum that is now supercharged with peptilum, a novel biopeptide sourced from upcycled cranberry pulp that ups the ante on traditional retinol. Said to be, said to be a smarter way to retinol, peptilum 
is clinically proven to work two times harder and better than other forms of retinol, addressing wrinkle reduction, firmness and cushion, brightness, texture and tone, delivering dramatic results in half the time, sans skin sensitizing side effects. The world's first skincare product formulated with peptilum, this sleep serum also features the superpower ingredients that the original mask was known for. I never knew masks, so... Oh, wait a minute. I guess phytoretinol, is that, is that the sleep mask we have? So is this serum like that mask in a bottle instead? Ah, I'll have to look. I think the, I think it was phytoretinol. So I think I got spooked by the word retinol back in the day when I unboxed that because I was pregnant with the twins maybe and you guys talked to me off a ledge or something with it. I don't know. Um, okay, so let's see. Where was I? Yeah, the original mask was known for. So maybe they don't make the mask anymore. I'm going to have to look it up after this. Primrose douses skin in antioxidants that nourish and moisturize the skin while astaxanthin works synergistically with peptilum to improve the appearance of fine lines, wrinkles, texture, and tone. Brand ambassador Jessica Chastain claims it changed her skin and 100% of study participants saw a reduction in fine lines and wrinkles. Sounds like an overnight success to us. Okay, that's kind of weird. Um, again, I hate those things where it's like 100% of study participants saw blah, blah, blah. Again, like who did the study? How many people were there? And that just bugs me. I don't know. I think I like to know the stats, you know? All right, so let's see if when I pump this out and see the texture and smell, if it's that mask that I felt was way too liquidy to be a mask or a moisturizer or whatever it was. Oh, I think, hmm. I think this is it. I think this is the stuff. Oh, but it definitely smells different, I think. Not a bad smell. Interesting though. <laughs> um, so it's like, I. the funny thing is, it's like, I don't know what type of serum this is. Like, it didn't really tell me. Um, it definitely, I kind of like the consistency on my hand. It has like a, a gel-like texture, which feels nice. Um, yeah, it doesn't really say here. Like, yes, it tells us about a biopeptide and that it has primrose and this peptilum, but I don't know if it's like, what kind of, you know, serum, I always like to know, is it like, it's not an oil-based serum, an aloe-based serum, a water-based serum, those kind of things. So I guess I'll have to delve more a little into the ingredients. I've noticed like with the Beauty Heroes thing, it used to tell you the superpower ingredients for all the products. Now it's showing for this one. This is where it breaks down the superpower ingredients, but it doesn't for these two. So you kind of have to go looking to see if you want to see the rest. So that's interesting. Um, I do think this might be that product reformulated in a, in a serum. And like, it was so liquidy. I just felt like, I, I remember thinking it was too liquidy for the way they had it in the jar and stuff. So I wonder if that was like a common complaint and they kind of changed up or something or wasn't like selling well or something. But the scent is pretty pleasant. All right, last product, the at-home facialist peel. 30 milliliter, fill it for the 30 milliliters for $65. Get fresh out of a facial skin in a fraction of the time and from the comfort of your home with At Home Facialist Peel, a professional grade treatment featuring four acids, AHA, BHA, PHA, and THX that exfoliate the skin to reveal a brighter, clearer, glass-like glow. The 27% acid blend, that makes me nervous, is balanced by a unique electrolyte mineral complex that supports optimal hydration levels in the skin by drawing moisture in from the outside and sealing it from the inside out. Aloe leaf juice, rosemary, and ilipe butters, known to help soothe and nourish skin, provide additional protection from redness and irritation. 97% of participants said their skin texture was smooth, nourished, and more hydrated, and the same number saw a highly significant improvement in fine lines and wrinkles after just one use. An impressive 100% of participants said their skin was instantly brighter, more clear, and radiant. Instant gratification guaranteed. I'm telling you when I put this on, oh my gosh, it has the statistics on the bottom. Listen to this. There's an asterisk. 
results are based on 30 participants using 3D image analysis reviewed by an expert technician and compared to baseline readings. I wanna see where that asterisk is. So, oh, I guess there is, it's not for like a specific sentence in here. I guess they're just saying these results are based on 30 people using 3D image analysis reviewed by an expert technician and compared to baseline readings. So I guess they looked at 30 people's faces like before and after and they looked at 3D images and an expert technician reviewed them comparing them to like what they originally looked like. I don't know. I'm not sure how I feel about that. <laughs> like an expert technician. What does that mean? I don't know. Maybe I'm just being too skeptical. Okay. So here is the at-home facialist peel. Another one of those little meetings. Ooh, consistency is interesting. Mm, smells good. I like the smell. Maybe like a little minty or something. It's like a fresh smell. So that would be cool. I just hope it's super gentle. I don't know. Makes me 27% acid blend. That sounds like really high, but like I have no idea, you know? So that's cool. Let me touch the texture to show you guys. Okay, so that's what the texture is like. Oh, what if I like put some on my hand and see if my hand starts sizzling? Ah, just kidding. <laughs> ah, well, I know, plus like, I don't know. I imagine the skin on your face is, um, do I have two of those or something? I don't know where this came from. This must be from something else. Um, I think the skin on your face is like more delicate. Oh yeah, this came from the cleansing balm. Sorry, I don't think I need this though because I feel like the cleansing balm is fine. Do you guys keep these on? I don't. I usually like scrape as much product off as I can and then like get it in the jar and then throw it away. I I wonder if there's, if you like, if it's supposed to help or something, or if it's just more like supposed to be like a seal of, you know, whatever it is called. Anyways, very rambly. Um, okay, so those are our three products. We have the Ginger Turmeric Cleansing Balm, the Phyto Retinol Sleep Serum, and the At Home Facialist Peel. So these will be fun. I do like their packaging. I think it's like, kind of fancy and like ni nice enough looking, I guess. I mean, there's parts of it I like and that's kind of pretty, you know? Um, yeah, so those are the three products. Um, it's always nice to get three full size products. It feels generous. When I've done my analyses before of how much I spend, like I think it uh, comes out to about $40 a box, which like $40 for, you know, three full size products, like that's not bad. And then they have these like ways to play, you know, cleansing and then using the peel, uh, micro, oh, microbiome enzyme essence. I think we got like a little one of that, that essence. And then, oh, the phytoretinol vitamin A booster. Those were the capsules. And then you put on the sleep serum and then they're, um, you know, firming and lifting treatment or Chibula extreme cream. We don't have either of those, but they don't mention the vitamin C thing or the Chibula, I think it was the serum. They don't mention those on here. So, oh, this is a nighttime retinol ritual. Okay, so cool. I don't have all those things, but I have most of them. So that is fun. Um, yeah, let me know what you think of this box. I feel like they've done True Botanicals pretty regularly. And I wonder if people are excited about that or not. Um, but yeah. Let's touch base, um, chat with me in the comments below. Please give the video a thumbs up if you found it helpful, enjoyed it, click the subscribe button so you'll be alerted for when the next video comes out. And um, I would love to chat with you in the comments below. Enjoy the products this month, bye.